Okay, so this is an intermediate level question. It relates to calculating the present value and future values of an annuity. Uh, the question says that we are making monthly payments of $340 into our account that earns 6% compounded monthly. And really it tells you that um, at some point the account is going to be worth $20,000 and how many payments will we have made by then um, so that the account is worth that much. So really um, you want to use your future value of the annuity formula which is why do we want to use the future value of the annuity formula? Well, because at some point, not now, but at some time in the future, the account is going to be worth $20,000. And because it's not now, it is in the future, then it's the future value of the annuity. Um, once we review the question, we can see that we have most of the inputs. Um, so we know our future value of an annuity is 20,000. Our C is equal to 340. So we're making payments of 340 every month. Now our R is equal to 6%. So that's 6% compounded monthly though. Um, to bring it back into monthly terms, we want to take a 6% and we're going to divide it by 12 because this is a year, yearly rate and we want to put it in monthly terms. So now we can substitute everything we have available to us to the, into the equation. So we have 20,000 is equal to 340 times... 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12 to the power of t because that's what we're trying to find out. We don't know how many payments we made already. Minus 1 divided again by interest rate and monthly terms. Now once you rearrange the equation a little bit to solve for t, I'm going to simplify it and get 0 1.005 to the power t, which is equal to this expression, is equal to 1 plus 1. You simplify it further. And you solve for t, since so you solve for something that's um, that's a bar, you take ln of both sides. So your t will be equal to ln one over two eight. That's this part of the expression. This is the part on the right. Divided by ln of one point zero zero five. That's just the ln of this part of the equation. And once you solve for t, you get 51.69. So what does that mean? It means that to reach the balance of 20,000, um, and you're compounding at 6% in the monthly terms, and you're making payments of $340 every month, you need to make 51.69 payments to reach this value. And that's the final answer. <laughs>